To open and complete the slideshow assignment today, all you need to do is click on the slideshow, which will be named your child's name. When it opens, you want to stay in this view and have your child. Some of the slides are just to read. Notice this bottom part. That's the most important. It's going to give you the instructions per slide. On this first slide here, for instance, when you click on it, it says to click and drag the words to the correct column. Remember, a noun is a person, place, thing, and all of that. So if you hover over the screen, you can click with one finger and pull it to the part that you, your child can pull it to the part that they want to you know, move each word. And so they can move that around. If your child accidentally might happen to delete something, the most important button on this screen is this undo button. The undo button will in fact um, bring things back if your child might accidentally, instead of click and drag, maybe they accidentally click backspace, the undo button will put it back to the way it needs to be if there is a mistake made. So um, for instance, on this second slide here, we got these arrows that are outside of the slide and it's asked to click and drag an arrow um, to match the pictures. So I'm just gonna just click over here. I'm just pulling it randomly in, but say, oops, you know, I accidentally deleted that or I don't want it there. I can click undo and move it back to where it wants to go. Each slide as your child clicks through, will give you the instructions down here at the bottom. Again, please make sure you know where the undo button is. That's going to help you. And don't put it in the present view because you won't be able to manipulate or move things in and follow those instructions on the bottom. Once your child completes that, you can exit out or whatever you want. It saves your progress automatically. But you do want to get back to that classwork tab because when you go into and actually view the assignment, you're gonna have the option to turn in that slideshow once completed. So once all slides have been completed by your child, you do, and it might notify you, but you do wanna turn it in. You don't have to do anything else. The slideshow will already be there, but you do want to turn it in. Don't turn it in until it's done. If you turn it in before it's done, you won't be able to make changes to it. Um, so after your child enjoys the interactive slideshow activity, make sure you go back to the assignment to get to this page. You have to click view assignment that's located on the bottom right here, and they'll be able to click turn in.